going to ski from here to a town called Akarari. It's on the north coast of Iceland. About, and then about 300 kilometres to the south there, um, I'll hit the south coast. I may cross over an ice cap, I may not. It depends how the conditions go. I'd say my pack probably weighs about 35 kilos at the moment, but 10 of that is probably in ski gear. So once I get on the snow, um, it's going to be better. And then also with my kite in the air, it's going to lighten up a lot. Well, I'm pretty much on the top of the ridge line now. That's looking north, and I'm going to follow it to the south for about 80 k's or so. I'm hoping there'll be a bit more snow on top there around the corner. But uh, I've finally taken my skis off my pack, and uh, I've put on these new Alpine touring skis, which feel a bit funny because they flex in front of the toe, not behind it, but uh, it's good to get that 10 kilos off my back and uh, be on skis, which is what I'm here to do in the first place. The bases on these skis are completely flat, they're downhill skis and I thought I may be able to get away with it but there's just uh, not enough grip going up the hill so I'm having to do a bit of a pattern in myself with a leatherman and I've done it before but I've done it with a drill but I'm pretty sure this should work. That pattern I put in my bases works an absolute treat, which is great because uh, I started to get a little worried how much work I'd have to do and how well it would work. Well, this is interesting. I've got to get down across this valley here and then up the other side onto the big uh, plateau up there. Which is really, this is the last steep bit there is. I just didn't think it'd be quite so steep. Oh, well, this is fun. It's pretty steep. It's almost like Club Lake. And uh, I was going down to the rocks because I had to. And now I've just managed to get my skis back on. And uh, I feel a lot safer. <laughs> That was tiring and very hot and sweaty, a little bit scary. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Oh. Man, that pack is heavy. I'm sweating like nothing else, but I wanted to keep my beanie on in case there are any rocks coming down after me. But I don't have a helmet. It's pretty steep, it's quite a long way. And uh, still quite warm, it's about two hours before it gets dark. It's going to be um, maybe icy in the morning, so this is the safest time to do it now. That was hard work. I hope there's nothing else that hard on this trip because that was hard work and it was scary. You can see my tracks from the other side. Started there, where that snowdrift is, went straight down, then hit that little chute and followed it. And there's my tracks, just one continuous side slip, I wasn't going to muck around. There's a lot of rocks on it too, so <laughs> my skis have now got even more pattern in them. Had a bit of a chilly night. That, at least it wasn't windy. Just the uh, visibility is not real flash. Well, I covered 20 k's today, but it was pretty horrible going. It was a white out the whole time, and most of the time I couldn't see anything. So I was just using, I had to use the GPS today because I didn't want to drop off any of the big escarpments on either side. Uh, it's minus 11. It just keeps getting colder. I'm just packing up camp, but. Still snowing, but there's a little bit better visibility. I can see about oh, maybe 100 meters, which makes it so much easier. Yesterday, every 100 meters or less, I'd have to check my compass and I'd be out by 30 degrees or more. And at one stage, I just fell over because I couldn't see anything. I just lost my balance. So hopefully, today's going to be a little bit better. Going. Well, that's a 
drifting steam and snow. Uh, it's cleared up finally, it's still cold, it's minus 10. But I've just pulled out my kite for the first time on the snow and hopefully it works and I'm aiming to go over that way. So here goes. Drag across the right so pack it away and I'll just keep going on skis now, it's too windy. All the steam freezes when it hits a hard surface and makes these cool little cauliflower patterns. Areas where the ice has lifted up the dirt about 10 to 20 centimetres. And my compass needle is frozen solid inside my compass. So I'll have to use the sun because there's nothing else to use really. Absolutely stuffed. Done 40 k's today. 14 of that was uh, with a kite, and then it got too icy as you can hear. That's my ski there, it's great, but it's just like it's just worse than cheese. It's like a skating rink, right? Oh, well, oh, it's 12 degrees below freezing out here. Whew. The bottom's slippery. Oh. rocks under the snow. I've already trashed my skis but they make you fall over I don't want to break my arm on the cold bar. Hello. Hello mum. All is well. Uh, position 64191857. Did about um, 50 k's today, it was a really big day, so I've only got another 20 something k's to go till I get to the um, bitumen, which is good. <laughs>